All right, this is the second half of the double angle formulas lesson. And we're going to make a 4a into cosine. We already talked about sine of 2a and what that equals. So let's look at cosine of 2a. If we're not taking into account what the, what the sine of 2a is, and we just look into the cosine of 2a, we're going to go about it in the same process. So we're going to break down what it actually means to have cosine of 2a. Now, we know that the cosine of 2a is equal to the cosine of a plus a. And since we've already talked about those addition formulas, we're going to break down the cosine of a plus a like this. We'll expand that to say that that's the cosine of a times the cosine of a minus the sine of a times the sine of a. And so we obviously see that this is cosine squared of a minus the sine squared of a. That's one way to write it. But we know that the cosine squared of a is equal to 1 minus sine squared of a. So we could also write it like this cosine squared a minus 1 whoops because the sine squared of a is equal to 1 minus cosine squared a we'll just replace that using the Pythagorean identity so we end up with negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared of a. So we have two different forms now. Here's one. Here's another. And depending on what we replace, we could get another. And the other one is one minus two sine squared a. That's what we would get if we replaced the cosine with the sine. So we have three separate forms I'll outline here to outlined here in blue. So if the sine of a is equal to one square root five, they want us to find the cosine of two a. And so when we're selecting between the three the three forms we just used, because we have sine, we're going to use the sine form. So we're going to say, instead of finding the cosine of 2a, we know that the cosine of 2a is really equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And so now we have cosine of 2a in terms of sine. And since we already have sine, it's just a fill in the blank. 1 minus 2 times sine squared of a, well that's really sine of a times sine of a, so that's going to be 1 divided by the square root of 5 squared. That's equal to 1 minus 2 times 1 over 5 is equal to 1 minus 2 fifths, which is equal to 3 fifths. So we wrote our cosine of 2a in terms of sine so that we could use what they gave us to solve. The last one is tangent. Now, if we're looking into tangent, the tangent of 2x is going to be equal to the tangent of x, tangent of a, sorry, plus a. And our formula is going to end up looking something like this. Tangent of a plus tangent of a over 1 minus tangent of a tangent of a. Well, when we simplify this, we get 2 tangent of a over 1 minus tangent squared of a. 
So this is our tangent formula. We derived it from our angle addition formula that we know for tangent. So when we do one problem with this, we see that we have 2 times some angle, 1 minus tangent squared of that same angle. So really this is going to be the tangent of 2 times 15 because this is really a breakdown of the double angle formula. So that's the tangent of 30, which we find from the unit circle to be 1 over the square root of 3. That's the last half of the double angle lesson. Feel free to review and check it out and go back and pause it where necessary.